Your Quest 3S can look amazing. Check this out. They're covering the gun store entrance. The grates will take me around their line of sight. I mean, the MetaQuest 3S is a very affordable headset, but it is often not utilized to achieve maximum performance or graphical fidelity, and that is going to change today. But in order to achieve full immersion, comfort is one of the things that you cannot miss. And that is why I got support from my sponsor, Sonic Grace. All right, so we all know the struggle. You are deep in a VR session and bam, your battery dies. And that's exactly where the S3 Duo headset from the Sonic Race comes into play. So instead of waiting around to charge, the S3 Duo gives you two swappable magnetic batteries. Each one packs 8,000 miles and adds an extra two to two and a half hours of playtime. Just pop in the next one and you're back to action. And while you're playing and enjoying, the second battery is charging in this compact dock. And I must say, it looks pretty sleek and clean. And on top of this, it has 20 watts compared to the 10 to 12 watts that usually the market offers. Which means your Quest 3 will be ready in about two and a half hours and the Quest 3S in two hours. Plus the battery indicators make it super easy to see when you have to recharge your battery. And if you have to talk about comfort, it is very comfortable. It fits your head perfectly with the silicone back pad and the memory foam of the strap makes it feel like your head is touching a cushion. So yeah, with the S3 Duo head strap, you get more power, more playtime, faster charging. You can basically play standalone endlessly by continuously swapping your batteries when one is dead. If you click the link below, you will get 10% off. And with Black Friday coming, you will get an additional 20% off when purchasing the head strap. Thank you Sonic Grace for sponsoring this video. Let's continue and optimize the graphics of our VR headset. Yeah. All right, for the first method, let's start off by installing SideQuest on the computer. I have included all the links in the description below so you will not get lost and follow along seamlessly. So first we have to log in. Then give your organization a name. It can be whatever you like. Hit the I understand button and submit. Now we have to plug in our headset to our PC. Now go to the page for the ADB drivers, hit the check mark and click download. The ADB drivers come zipped so you have to unzip them. Click the Android Win USB file, right click and click install. On our phone go to the Meta Horizon app, then go to your headset, go to headset settings Go to developer mode and enable developer mode. On the website of SideQuest, we go to get SideQuest and under advanced installer, we download the executable. Run through the setup and click on install. And after opening SideQuest, it will download a couple files. After this is done, connect your headset to your PC and allow USB debugging. And that's pretty much it. If you go to the wrench tool in the top right corner, you will see all the different options that you can enable and disable in order to improve the graphics and fidelity of your headset and even the performance. All right, now that we have got SideQuest on our computer, let's also get it on the headset itself. Again, on the SideQuest website, go to get SideQuest and click on the web installer. It pretty much lays out all the steps for you. We have to, again, connect our PC to our headset, select it and connect it. And then we have to allow the USB debugging once again in the headset. Once it says you're ready, click on install SideQuest. It will pop up with a message that it is installed. Then we have to link up the SideQuest app to our app with our account. Input the code that is displayed on your headset and click the link now button. So just to show you how this all works, when you go to here under all and then go to unknown sources, it should have the SideQuest app installed. So if you click on that, it will launch the application. And right here, you can pretty much do a lot of the stuff that is also available on the PC. In our case, we have to go to the hamburger menu and then go to device settings. 
And here you will see the settings that you can adjust in order to improve the graphical fidelity or the performance, whatever you like. We have basically the CPU levels. You can read the descriptions. This can improve performance for apps and games. It makes sense when you go higher, it will be faster, but it will also consume more battery. And if you go lower, it will be slower. Then we have the gra graphics processing unit level. So this can improve performance for apps and the games. Then you also have the texture resolution. This will change the quality of textures in games. The OS will need to restart. So basically, if you go for a higher setting, then the textures in the games will look more sharp and more defined instead of aliased ugliness that you normally get with the default uh, settings. But keep in mind, there will be a trade-off with performance and graphical fidelity. So keep a balance with everything. Then we have the screen refresh rate. I will say a 90 Hertz refresh rate is a pretty good spot to be in. Then we have the fixed foveated rendering, which can improve the performance. So if I'm not mistaken, if this is low, then your peripheral vision, so the sides of your vision will be rendered in a lower quality than the middle of your vision which will of course save resources and will optimize the speed of your headset. But I will leave this off for right now. And you have chromatic aberration, which is the bluishness and reddishness when you get to the sides of your lenses. And yeah, just like this, you can improve the graphical fidelity of your headset within your Quest. So for the last method, we're going to install the Quest Games Optimizer. Now this is not a free tool. This is a paid option, which costs 10 USDs, but it is well worth it with all the capabilities that you're getting with this tool. So with that in mind, let's get into it. So here we have the Quest Games Optimizer homepage. When you have purchased the app, you will see a download button on the top. Click that and then download the Quest Games Optimizer APK. Save that APK to whatever folder you want. Again, we have to connect our headset to our PC. Now back on SideQuest, go to the icon to install APKs, click on it. You won't be seeing me selecting the APK file of Quest Games Optimizer for some reason, but just select it and it will start installing it on your headset. When it's done, you will see all tasks completed on the bottom. And that is essentially it. Now in order to do this on your headset, Go to itch.io on your web browser. Search for the Quest Games Optimizer. And once again on the top you see the download button. Click that and select the APK. Now we will go to the Quest Store. And we will search for Mobile VR Station. Make sure to select see all, otherwise you won't see it. Download the app. And once it's downloaded, start the app. You will potentially have to accept some prompts. And then you'll see something like this. Now click look here to continue. Then we click on configuration wizard. And then we click on show all options. Click on configure scope storage. Once again, click on configure scope storage and click step one. This will open a familiar Android interface. Click on this first option, then click on download. Click on the expand icon on top of your APK. Click continue. In my case, it was already installed, so I click update. And once it's done, you can open it or close it. Upon opening the app, you will see this red banner and you'll see ADB is disabled. So in order to fix this, we click on the options. Then we have a couple solutions that we can try out. We will go with the second solution. So for this, we click on the open settings button. And it's important that these two windows are going to be next to each other. And if it's needed, we will have to enable the developer mode. So click the about headset button and then seven times click on the build number. Then we go back and we click the system button. We will have to go into the developer options. We have to scroll down until you see the wireless debugging toggle. Click this and then enable it. 
you will get a prompt in order to allow this and click the always allow on this network button. And now you will see that the toggle is switched on and the only step left is to enter the code. So click on the pair device with pairing code and enter the code that you see on your screen. So in order to access the Quest Games Optimizer, this is the same as the side quest on your headset. Just go to all and then go to unknown sources and then go to your Quest Games Optimizer. Okay, and here you have all the diverse apps that are already installed on your headset with a certain profile already applied that you can launch straight away. You can uh, adjust your recording settings. You even have a command prompt or of some sort, but we want to look at the profiles, of course, because that's the most fun. So let's check out the home screen right here. You can see an HT plus profile that is applied to this. So it means that it will launch it with this preset. Now, if I click these three dots, I can select some presets over here. I can I can go into a battery save mode. I can go to a regular HD and an HD plus mode, or I can just disable it. So if I were to edit this even further, here you got all the fun settings. So right over here, you got all the different uh, profiles you can switch between that you have preset. I can uh, adjust the resolution. I can adjust the Hertz that are displayed. Most of the time, 90 Hertz is uh, pretty okay and doable i can go between very ultra settings for the cpu so that's the performance of the cpu or i can save power i can do the same with the gpu uh, fixed foveated rendering of course the higher this is the more degraded the quality is so for now let's just test out this is my environment i'm in this beautiful sea landscape nemo finding nemo i don't know so let's completely destroy the resolution for now and see how that looks so and oh man and look at that degraded quality <laughs> the edges are pixelated more pixelated aliased and it's more blurry and jagged and stuff like that so yeah i don't like this so now let's fix it what happens if i just totally up this let's press start and remember guys you have to find a good balance between everything otherwise your headset will become slow or the battery will die really fast i can already notice it's really sharp though it is beautiful so right now my frame rate is lower you can see it when i wave my hands it is way slower than 90 hertz let's go back and let's adjust i don't know the graphics processing unit let's put it on <laughs> ultra i don't care let's just do it and yeah, I mean, that is way smoother already. Yeah, if I were to like lower this again to, uh, I don't know, power save and this also power save start. See, see what happens? It just becomes really slow, really. Ooh, oh my God, I cannot even move my head. And you can even test it in game. So when you have opened another game other than just my virtual environment here, you can test it in game. And yeah, guys, that is essentially it. So now that you have gotten all the tools on your headset, PC VR gaming is another thing that we can optimize. You can check it out right here. I'll see you there.